Good afternoon, learners. Once again, I'm Eleanor Splinter from Fairmont High School, and I'm here this afternoon to teach you trigonometry again. And what we're going to do this afternoon is I'm going to start with reduction formulas, and then after the reduction formulas, we're going to do identities. And if the time allows me, I'm going to do trig equations. I'm not going to rush through this afternoon because the work that we're going to do is extremely important. It's always in the exam. And I want us, if we finish with this lesson, lesson this afternoon, to know exactly what is going on. So I want us to focus quickly. We're going to do reduction formulas. And look what I have here this afternoon. I have the Cartesian plane. And what I drew for you, I want you learners to also draw this Cartesian plane. You're sitting there and you're watching this broadcast and I want you to have a piece of paper first, a blank piece of paper, and I want you to draw the Cartesian plane like I did, my y-axis, my x-axis, and to say that the theta starts here. This is your positive theta angle and this is your negative theta angle. Why am I doing this this afternoon? Because the very most important question is which quadrant are you working in? Now look very carefully. If I ask you, where is 180 degrees plus theta? Most of you would go and say, ma'am, it's in the third quadrant. But some of you would not know where it is, so I want to teach you this afternoon where to check where's 180 plus theta. Just two minutes. First of all, you go to your angle. Where is positive theta? This is where positive theta is. I said put this in your first quadrant. So positive theta starts here. I just want to put two down, quadrant number three, and then quadrant number four. Now, once you have your theta, you see that this is positive 180 degrees plus 180. Now, that's a positive angle, so you are going to move one, two blocks anticlockwise. Positive angles, we go anticlockwise. So I started at theta. I have plus 180, so I go plus 90, plus 180, so 180 plus theta is in my third quadrant. Grade 12, let's quickly look at where will I find an angle negative theta, negative 180. Negative theta, negative 180. Where must I start at negative theta? First, go to your angle. Negative theta is in the fourth quadrant. Just remember where theta is and where your negative theta is. Negative theta is in the fourth quadrant. Okay, now listen. Go to your angle and your angle says negative 180. Negative 180, it's a negative angle, so I'm going to move clockwise. How many blocks? Two blocks, because a block is 90 degrees. So I have minus theta is here. I've got negative 180, so I go clockwise. Everybody knows clockwise is this way. How many blocks? One two blocks. So negative theta, negative 180 is in the second quadrant. If you can locate your quadrants, half of your problems will be solved. Okay, look at another one with me. Where will I find 360 degrees plus theta? 360 degrees plus theta. Okay, I've seen a lot of students that logged in. Please, will you SMS me your answer as to where 360 plus theta is? Remember, theta first, it's plus 360. So you are going to move four blocks clockwise or anticlockwise, anticlockwise. Where will this angle be 360 plus theta. I'm waiting for you quickly to tell me. Remember, plus theta is in the first quadrant, and you must move four blocks, 
four blocks clockwise or anti-clockwise. 360, everybody. Anti-clockwise. Which quadrant? How? I see nobody still telling me. Somebody just says good afternoon. That is amazing. I have Tembisa Monkey from, I can't see which school she's from. She's saying it's in the first quadrant. And then I have Lucano saying that, Lucano, you are also just a visitor. And then Sewapiwe, you saying fourth. No, no, can we look at why it isn't fourth? Sewapiwe, you are from Modedum Secondary School. And let's just see why it can't be in the fourth. You know what theta is here? Plus theta is here. It says plus 360. Move four blocks anti-clockwise. One, two, three, four. Brings you back to the first quadrant. Remember 360 is a full revolution. So that is in the first quadrant. And I have Baoyiwe from Sinonio. You saying it's in the first quadrant. That is amazing. Most of you are saying it's in the first quadrant. And that is correct. I'm happy that you understand which quadrants we are working in. If you now know which quadrant, Talita from Sinen Yongo High School, first quadrant, that is correct. I only have a few people saying fourth quadrant. The people saying fourth quadrant, just quickly, can we just look at again why it's not the fourth quadrant? Theta is here, plus 360, move anti-clockwise four blocks because it's four nineties one two three four brings you back to the first quadrant i hope that you guys can all now see the quadrants and now something very very important before i go to the sum of this afternoon it's no use i go into the sum but you don't understand the basics so first of all everybody knows how to get their quadrants now why will sin 90 degrees minus theta go to cos theta. You know, I mark this paper at the end of the year and people don't get this right. A lot of you don't get this right. Can you look with me? Why is the sin of 90 minus theta or plus theta cos of theta? Grade 12s, just look, we've done this, but some of us don't understand it and I'm not going to go to the examples if we don't understand this. Okay, look very carefully. This is my 90. And if this is theta, please, this angle here will be 90 degrees minus theta. Remember, say for instance, this was 60. You would have said, ma'am, that is 90 minus 60, which gives me 30. But I don't know what the size of this angle is. So this angle we will call 90 minus theta. Now, for theta, remember this is always your hypotenuse. Opposite theta is the opposite angle. And the side that is closest to theta is your adjacent side. The side that is closest to theta is your adjacent side. This is my opposite side. The hypotenuse is always opposite the 90. Now watch me closely. If I ask you the sin of theta, you're going to say, ma'am, that's quite easy. The sin of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. And if I ask you, just listen very carefully, what is the cos of 90 degrees minus theta? Now, when I taught you the other lesson, our first lesson, I said that this, the ratio for sin, cos, and tan, we are going to remember it as follows. Oh, how? Another hour of algebra. There we go. Oh, hell, another hour of algebra. Right? So, the cos, the sin of theta is O over H. We got it there. But look at this. 90 minus theta. Everybody knows that the cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, if you look at your 90 degrees minus theta, 
What is the adjacent side now? It's O. O is the closest side to 90 minus theta. So this is also O over H. But what is O over H? It is sin theta. Grade 12. This is what you must remember. The minute you see 90 plus theta or 90 minus theta, your name changes. Sin changes to cos and cos changes to sin. And I try to explain to you by means of this diagram. Grade 12, this is our foundation for this afternoon's lesson. Which quadrant? And 90 minus and 90 plus, my name changes. I think we're all ready to go to our first example.